All right, the purpose of the video basically is is to uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of people out there that think um, it's all about just changing brakes. It's all about uh, you know throwing parts at things, and uh, I want to encourage the young guys out there to uh, further their further their knowledge. And a lot of guys out there who aren't you know they don't have jobs. They're just in uh, high school or whatever. I want to try to bring some information to the table and I'm going to have a lot more hands-on type of things but just for right now I just want to begin this by trying to show some of the information involved with the computer systems and uh, this actually this is pretty much just right off the top of my head I have uh, read uh, I don't even want to mention the name I have read his book okay several times and uh, I've used the techniques in the book several times. Uh, some of the things I've known, some of the things I didn't know. You know, it's all, I mean, there's a saying that you learn something every day. I know a lot of you out there, you already know what's going on with this stuff right here. But this really is to encourage people because I work with people who are old and they have no idea about this stuff. They, they don't know. They change parts. They, you know, if something says camshaft position sensor they just change camshaft position sensor or whatever have you so I just want to uh, basically kind of throw some of this information out here for the younger guys out there who are, who are you know you don't even got to be a younger guy I just want to kind of throw this information out there to get people more interested in this in the more technical aspect of, of vehicles because they're getting more technical as the as the days progress um, so these are basically computer inputs. So basically, uh, uh, you've heard of manifold absolute pressure sensor. They call it a MAP sensor. This would be, um, so it would be this device right here, basically right here. This would be the sensor itself, all right? So we'll be talking about like a manifold absolute pressure sensor, which uh, senses the, the pressure from the manifold. Uh, mass airflow sensor, crankshaft position sensor, camshaft position sensor, wheel speed sensor, vehicle speed sensor, ignition module, igniter, um, door locks, cruise control, parking neutral switch, power steering switch. I've gone, gone over some of those switches in the past on how to check them, how to how to activate them and everything. And this pretty much shows you there's there's really two different type of inputs. There's either um, like there's the down pull type of input. And I just want to show you that really all you need is this information right here and a basic knowledge of electricity in, or, in order to uh, manipulate the system and in order to check the system. So basically, here's the engine computer right here, right? You got the engine computer right here. You have a 12 volts supplied by the computer. The 12 volts comes into here. This is a 5 volt regulator right here. And then it sends 5 volts down here through a resistor. And then it sends it out. So this would be the wire coming out of the computer and it's going to go, let's say this is, for example, this is a, um, I don't know, crankshaft position sensor or something like that, whatever, whatever have you, right? <clears throat> let's say it's a two wire crankshaft position sensor or something like that. Anyways, so this thing right here, this is the um, voltage sensing circuit. So basically this thing right here, this voltage sensing circuit is basically one of these. Okay, it's just right here. It's just gonna sense, it's just sensing right here. Like that. That's all it's doing. It's gonna have a reading. And it's gonna read, and that's what the computer is gonna basically read, depending on what the what, what's going on. And you can have hydraulic, you can have mechanical. Now, what happens is uh the 12 volts come from the computer, comes into this uh into this regular regulator right here then it comes down and it goes through this uh, <clears throat> resistor and then it comes out here and when the switch is closed okay let's say it's a mechanical switch you're gonna basically have zero volts on the sensing circuit right here because through this you're gonna have five volts five volts five volts and then the um, if you know how voltage works the voltage is gonna drop across this resistor you're gonna have zero all the way down here all the way down here it's going to be zero from here to here it's going to be zero volts so that's 
how it's going to show. It's going to show zero here, zero here, zero here, zero here, zero all the way up to the computer if this switch is closed like that. Now, when the switch is open like that, it works also the same way. Here's the engine computer and you have the 12 volts here that feeds this voltage regulator. And then from this voltage regular regulator, it sends out 5 volts and then there's a resistor right here. And because the switch is open, there is no voltage drop. So the voltage is not dropping down, right? So you're going to have all the way right here. You're going to have 5 volts all the way across all the way here here all the way here to the computer if the switch is open and right here on this end you're gonna have basically zero volts okay and also right here this is the voltage sensing circuit that tells the computer exactly what's going on that's you know it's a, it's, it's just like a, a basically sensor just like your body has sensors, the computer has sensors. You want to know if your computer knows why your camshaft, crankshaft, or whatever sensor is going out. This is how it knows, like that. And really, just based on this information, you can really diagnose the, the, the system that you're working on. You can actually diagnose how, uh, what kind of system it is working on that you're working on. So basically, let's say um, you, turn the, you, you turn the key on, right? Key on, engine off. And uh, let's say you have, let's say you have zero volts all the way along here because your sensor is stuck closed. Uh, you know, you, let's say your power steering pressure switch is stuck closed or whatever. Unplug this. What's going to happen? As soon as you unplug it, it's going to go to five volts. And you follow. If you look at a wiring diagram, or if you know whatever uh, wire goes to the computer, if it jumps up to five volts, you know automatically that's the wire that goes to the computer and what you call that that's the signal wire the wire that goes to the computer is called the signal wire because that's what the computer sees and that's the signal that it's seen so this would be called the signal wire in order to identify the signal wire basically if you have zero volts turn the key on you have zero volts all the way through you unplug the wire and it drop, drops up to uh, five on one of the wires pretty much automatically you know you got a five volts right there you know that's the signal wire you know that's the wire that goes to the computer so knowing that information you could pretty much diagnose whatever you have to diagnose um, for example if you know it's it's like a pull down type of system like that where you have the five volt coming from the computer from the signal wire and you disconnect the wire and it doesn't go up to five volts you might have a, a short to ground right here. It might be shorted to ground. Or it might be broke open right here. Okay. So basically with that information right there, you could pretty much figure out most of what you need to do. So that's that's down pool type of system. This is the computer. This is the signal wire. This is the ground. The, uh, the signal wire is uh, internally sourced from the computer. And the other type of uh, input... Right, it's going to go for the same type of thing, the same type of uh, map sensor, manifold, absolute pressure sensor, all those different type of things. But in this case, it's the up pool type of system, and it's externally sourced. So this right here, this with this 12 volts, when the key on engine off, this is going to be from a um, from a fuse, you know. So this is going to be not powered by the computer this is going to have the power coming from an external source which is basically a fuse so in this system right here with the uh, switch open you're going to have 12 volts all the way here okay and that in this case you're going to have 12 volts there this one also because it's going to the computer this is also the signal wire all right also this one right here, this wire coming right here, this is also the signal wire, whichever one's going to the computer. Alright, so in this case what happens, you have an externally sourced power source, which is the from the from the fuse. 12 volts comes over here, and if the if it's open, let's say for example the, the power steering pressure switch is open because it has no pressure from the power steering, it's not running, right? You have 12 volts on one wire. 
and because it's open you're gonna have zero volts right here right all the way along here you're gonna have zero volts the whole way and this is also also the voltage sensing circuits just like having the multimeter right there it's going to show zero volts once again that gives the computer the uh, information it needs to determine whether that sensor is faulty or not you also have a resistor right here going to ground you also have the voltage sensing circuit going to ground okay so basically for example um if you have Let's say you have this switch and you have 12 volts all the way across and you know it's a, a, a up pull type of system and you disconnect it and you have 12 here and then you have zero there. Then you probably know that the switch itself is probably faulty and it's it's creating us, a, 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 it's pulling it down because it's stuck closed, right? Now, right here, this is the same thing but this switch this is this is the switch right here it could be like a switch like a, a pressure sensor switch or you know manifold absolute pressure sensor or whatever it's going to work the same way depending on the different types of uh, system it is once again you have an externally powered uh, source from in this case this is going to be from the um, fuse okay and then right here when the switch closes so you're gonna have right here you're gonna have 12 volts when the switch is closed 12 volts is gonna come here here all the way through all the way through all the way through and it's gonna be sensed right here on this voltage sensing circuit and this goes to ground it's gonna sense that 12 volts and then that gives the computer a way to identify whether the system is uh, uh, open or closed let's say you know you you start your car, you start your car, and your system sees a zero voltage, automatically the check engine light's gonna turn on because guess what? If your power, uh, if, your, if your switch is supposed to be when closed, when you start your car, and it sees, it's supposed to see 12 volts, but it only sees zero volts, then basically, boom, sets a check engine light, you know, causes a code. So basically, it's the same thing with this too. You turn the uh, key on engine off, you unplug the wire, you see 12 volts on the wire that goes to the fuse, you know it's an up pull type of system. On the wire, let's say this is a white and black wire, whatever, white, white and black wire, and you see on the wiring diagram that those, that goes to the computer, you turn the key on engine off, you unplug it, and you see zero volts then you pretty much know that's probably the up pool type of system on those type of sensors that you're looking at so like i said the the basic of this video basically is i try to i want to try to get people who are not really uh that familiar with computers and computer systems and everything a little bit more interested and hopefully watching my videos you can um i'm gonna try to go more in detail and i'm gonna try to show the sensors and the switch inputs and all the other things associated my channel you know i'm just gonna get more tools and more scanners and 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 everything else we need in order to diagnose things and hopefully you know we could bring some of these younger guys into the fold and and have a lot less more of this uh guessing type of stuff so um uh, basically i i kind of wanted just to like I want to throw some information out there for, for the youth out there and the young guys and the people that don't have a lot of knowledge about this type of stuff. I know I don't have a lot of type of stuff like this with diagnosing and everything, but I will in the future. Um, I'll have a good, probably by next year, I'll have a good, uh, nice scanner that we can, um, we'll be able to test different cars and everything, different systems. We'll be able to check everything out. And I'll go a little more in depth into this type of stuff, and then we could, you know, do more sensor testing, and then, you know, we could go from there. But just for right now, I just want to show the type of stuff that's involved. This is just basically the the, the average everyday type of switch inputs, the the what the computer sees in order for it to um, tell you what what the computer seen. Basically, that's what the computer seen. It's just seen that. It's just seeing the 12 volts or 0 volts. It, it wants to see 12 volts or it wants to, to see 0 volts. And depending on what it wants to see, it's going to set a check engine light. 
depending on what it wants to see. So basically, that's just a real quick um, drawing. This was just off the top of my head. I did um, get it from reading books. Okay, so um, hopefully some of you guys understand that. If not, we'll go in more detail. I'll, I'll show. I'm just gonna. I'll do a basic video on how to do um, like a basic e volt meter testing. And you guys got to realize a lot of you guys out there, master techs and all everything. This is not interesting to you, but you all, guys also have to realize there's people that are growing up and, and they're just barely getting into this field. So I want you guys to. Uh, I want the the younger guys. I want them interested. In the electronic aspect of things and and the real diagnostic as diagnostic aspect of things because when i was growing up i didn't i didn't have too much knowledge about this stuff i had to figure it out on my own and it was kind of hard to do so so that's what we got right there so uh anyways give me a thumbs up if, if you like it if not i have no idea how i don't know if you got, people are gonna like it or not Anyways, I'm, I'm going to like try to do it like this, and then I'm going to make some videos with the sensors themselves, testing the sensors, and hopefully put them together so we can like uh, have a better understanding of things like this. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.